Hey y'all. I was just here enjoying a movie on my system here and uh, decided to film you a little video. Let's see. Okay. If I'd have told you three days ago those quail were going to look like that, you wouldn't, you'd wouldn't. have said, oh, you're crazy. But as you can see, they're, they're not there yet, but uh, in a couple more, I, I'd say a week or so, they're going to be ready for it. That's the baby. See? Look how fast they grow. It's, it's unbelievable. It's, it's like watching a xenomorph. I mean, seriously, it's like watching the movie Alien or something. They just grow. They, they probably take on, in that first couple weeks, they take on like five, six ounces. They just eat nonstop. This is why I leave the, the light on them, because it makes them eat and drink around the clock. Well, we had a very interesting development today. Uh, let me check the hover baiter. Oh, no, I see one pippin. I see another one pippin. And all these were done upside down, too. That was my first ever using the hover baiter, and I put the eggs in upside down, a lot of them. And uh, they're still... I uh, had a very unusual thing. Now, I don't recall I don't recall this, but I had my phone set with a reminder. Chicks. Um, that was supposed to happen May 15th. I, I don't know what this is about because I did not put those chicks in there at least I don't think it's been 17 days it's it's they hatched before that I mean I have no idea no ideas folks but there they are they're not peeping at me what you want to watch out for with chicks is when they start when they start calling because uh, if they start really you know weep 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 something's wrong so you just got to be a good parent. You got to go over there and make sure they ain't stuck in the corner. I had one that that one happened to me, and another one got stuck in the water. You can't have the water in there, you know. You can't let them get chilled. You got to kind of monitor them for shivering and stuff too, because if it any more, I'm gonna have to lower that light down a little bit more on them. That's a new breeder light. And I found it funny too. I went to Home Depot, looked all over the store for it, and uh, and I was trying to describe it to him, you know, because let's face it, Home Depot does not have the best help or you know the sharpest tools in the shed, so. I was going up to people and I was like, you know, do you have one of those old style, you know, light bulbs with the metal dish around it? You know, and they were like, what in the hell? And I walked up to this one guy and I said, you know, you know about these, these lights with the metal dish around it? He goes, oh, you mean a brooder lamp? And I just looked at him for a second and said, yes, yes, actually, that's what I'm looking for. But uh, apparently what we have is, um, looking close at him, we've got one there that appears he is a Tennessee red by this dark coloring and a tuxedo a tuxedo and an all-white one so we've got five in total yeah he's gonna be a red too you can see by his black toes but they're not shivering or anything like that and so now not only do we have double incubation set up going I can get that I was thinking about doing a peacock in that one but uh we also have the two and a half week old pullets that are now i mean look they're they're almost like adults now i'm considering whether or not to go ahead and put them outside because the weather's got past the cold points where they're going and they're definitely not going to chill because that light's been up there off of them for a good long while now they like to huddle together and this guy a little update on this guy here he is turning into a white Coternix type coat. I do not know what that is about, but yeah, he's going to be an all white Coternix, which is cool. So I'm I'm keeping him. I don't think I'll name him. But these other guys, I mean, you tell me they they look like grown ass birds already. It's ridiculous the speed of which they breed. Let's just make sure this okay. These guys have, that that's a little warm for them. Because uh, this little guy has instinctually moved to the edge of it. They will do that when it's a little too warm. So pretty soon I'm going to use these clamps here on this handy dandy new light. and I will, Or I will suspend it from the ceiling by a string or something. And I will slowly raise that a few inches a day until they get used to it. Because they've got to have their warmth. You can't have your chicks uh, catching a chill because either they'll die or they will, you know, keel over on you. You can't have that. He's already trying to walk. He is maybe an hour old. Maybe that. He's already trying to get up and walk around. This one already is getting up and walking around. My God. 
and this is what I'm telling you about, folks, this is what I mean, these, these animals, if you can't have a chicken, or if you just don't want to mess with chickens, you know, because chickens is a lot of work, and they're big birds, you know, and they make a lot of poop, and, it's, and it can get nasty, especially when it gets moist out, but not these little guys, you can keep these guys in your apartment just as easily as guinea pigs, like uh, that me and Hank have been experimenting with uh, beforehand, the guinea pigs are, are coming along real well, he's already exploring. But yeah, if, if if you're looking for something like chickens and you don't have the time, money, space, effort, time, but you still want them, this I would say go ahead and do what I'm doing because uh, this has been real rewarding. We're going to have, as you can see, probably the rest of this rack is going to be hatching. And in about seven days later, all of that is going to be hatching. So yeah, we're going to have to rotate these babies back out to the pens. We're going to have to get them set back up. And uh, that one's going to be hatching a week after that. So, yeah. I'll let you know on just how efficient the hubba baiter has been for me because compared to my forced air homemade job, which, you know, as you can see, it, it clearly did its job. And I will keep you updated from day to day on these little guys because once they see, once they get up and getting around, they get looking around at their world, they just take right off. And they hatched up very quickly. They, I mean, I'm not, I, like I said, they hatched early, they hatched well, they were kicking out, they kicked the shells off and just got the hell up. And I'm just watching them real close right now, making sure they're not preemie or anything like that. They don't appear to be. So thanks for watching, everybody. This has been a quail update, and always remember, there's a wealth around you. Be good.